In this video, we'll talk about the spleen. In humans, the spleen is a purple colored organ present in the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. Spleen is the secondary lymphoid organ in the body and it's the largest secondary lymphoid organ. The spleen is a secondary lymphoid organ. Spleen acts primarily as a blood filter. It removes red blood cells. So it's a graveyard for RBCs. Now also spleen has immunological functions because it houses lymphocytes such as uh, B lymphocytes and the monocytes. So this is a cross section of the spleen. Let me orient you to the anatomy. So first of all, you can see the splenic artery is here and the splenic vein is here. So these are the input and output of blood into the spleen. Now the central arteriole supplies blood inside the spleen and around the central arteriole there would be several sinuses. This is the trabecule which is basically the capsule invaginating inside the spleen. The most important part of the spleen is here, the periarteriolar sheath which is in blue. Then the follicles and the marginal zone. So the marginal zone pulse and the follicle together are known as white pulp and the external zone of this white pulp is known as the red pulp. In a histological slide, we can quickly appreciate that white pulp is in this region and the red pulp is the external region. So what is the function of red pulp? Red pulp filters abnormal RBCs and platelets. It's also a zone for fetal erythropoiesis and it sequesters platelets. So red pulp has hematological functions. Whereas the white pulp has a lot of immunological functions. So in the white pulp, you can see the germ, germ centers present in the B cell follicles, then periarteriolar sheath, which has T cells and the marginal zone, which has antigen presenting cells. So let us look at this in a bit more details. So the periarteriolar sheath is the house for several T cells. So it, you can consider this is the T cell zone. And then the follicles has many B cells and the marginal zone has B cells as well as antigen presenting cells such as macrophages and the dendritic cells. So what happens is that in the marginal zone, there are specific cells like dendritic cells, there are macrophages which can recognize blood borne pathogens and bacteria, especially the encapsulated bacteria and they can engulf them. Eventually, these antigen presenting cells can now present this uh, antigen to the T helper cells present in the periarteriolar sheath in this blue region. And later on, the T helper cell once activated can now go to the uh, follicles and can interact with the B cells to activate the B cells. Eventually, B cells would give rise to plasma cells and make antibody against that particular pathogen. So this is the overall function of the uh, spleen. Now spleen is kind of equivalent to the lymph node, but a bigger version of the lymph node. It's much, much, much bigger than the lymph node. Anyway, enlargement of the spleen is known as splenomegaly. And splenomegaly is caused by many disease associated situations like sickle cell anemia, scardosis, mal malaria, bacterial endocarditis, leukemia, and many more. Now, splenic dysfunction could be very bad for an organism. Splenic dysfunction can occur due to uh, surgical removal of spleen, splenectomy, or sickle cell disease, autosplenectomy, or maybe rupture of the spleen due to any kind of accident. So overall, splenic dysfunction can lead to problems, especially with the capsule containing bacteria. So when spleen, spleen is dysfunctional, blood IgM level would go down. Complement activity would also go down. It would increase the risk of encapsulated bacterial infection. So generally the encapsulated bacteria are cleared by the spleen. Once spleen is not functional, the risk of these encapsulated bacteria such as streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae type B, Neisseria meningitis, they, they are, uh, uh, the infection risk is increasing. So obviously a clinical focus is to vaccinate the individual which has undergone splenectomy or splenic dysfunction.
so the vaccination against the encapsulated organism is really important so i hope this was informative and brief enough so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up you can visit our facebook page instagram or uh, other social media links all are provided in the description support our channel using super thanks you can contribute using paytm paypal or upi see you in next video mm -hmm.